this guy. Okay, so here's the thing. It's Friday, it's 4 p.m., and clipping 10 podcast clips into the best sound bites, then resizing, cropping, and adding animated subtitles should, in theory, take me one or two days, but he needs this in one hour, so I'm gonna use AI. Let me show you how I'm gonna take this podcast video and turn it into 10 YouTube shorts in 60 minutes, and then he's gonna think, your girl, she's employee of the year. All right, to do this, like I said, we're gonna rely on AI, more specifically, a tool called Veed Clips. Now, on Veed's dashboard here, we're going to select create clips. Now click upload a video and you're going to select your podcast video that you need to repurpose into multiple YouTube shorts. Now we can customize our YouTube shorts here by selecting our settings, starting with the spoken language. Now obviously mine's English, but just to let you know, Veed actually does support over 120 languages, so you choose yours. Now we're going to leave our aspect ratio as portrait because that is perfect for YouTube shorts. And then we've got subtitles in here. We've got a bunch of different popular presets that you can choose from and everything comes styled and animated, ready to go for social media. Now if there is something here that you just don't like, if it doesn't fit on your brand, don't worry, I'm going to show you how to fix your subtitles later on in the video. Now below that we've got video goals and here you can choose if you want the highlights from your video, if you want the most insightful clips, or if you want AI to choose the clips which have the most potential in going viral. And then lastly here we've got clip length and again this is entirely up to you but Alec, my boss, said he wants 10 clips and this is a shorter podcast so I'm going to choose 15 seconds and then I'm going to click continue. Now Veed's AI is automatically going to generate engaging social media ready clips for me and it's going to pick the most interesting sections in my video, reframe it for shorts, and it's even going to add automatic captions so that I can reach a wider audience. And you'll notice here that each clip gives you a title and it's going to let you know what the clip is talking about. But just think about it, you can also use that as a caption for your socials. It's going to save you time when it comes to thinking of one when you go to post it. Now you also get the full transcript here so you know exactly what is being said in each clip. And lastly, you get a scorecard. Now this gives you an idea of how well you can expect your clip to perform on socials. All the categories here, they're all explained and they're all ranked. And the clips are sorted from the highest score to the lowest score. So here's the thing, let me level with you. All right, these scores, think of them like a guideline, not exactly a guarantee. Because the AI, it's not gonna know your audience as well as you do. So what I would suggest is you take the scores, combine them with how well you know your community, and then you decide. So let me play the first clip here for you so we can see how it turned out. Now, look, I'm not promising anything. I'm just saying this method booked me a collaboration with a Vespa company in Italy. A three-week stay with the Tourism Authority of Thailand, two sets of Eagle Creek luggage. Pretty damn good for just a few clicks, right? However, I know my boss and he knows AI, which means that I need to jazz these clips up. I need to add in my own editing style. So he thinks that I've done all this manually. So what I'm going to do is I want to switch some things up here on the clips. I want to have them align with our company branding. So if I click on edit here on the first one, it's going to bring me into the editor. So you remember how earlier I said that if the subtitles weren't 100% to your style, you can change it. Here's how. Click subtitle in the left toolbar here, and then I can change everything from the font, the size, the color, the animation, the effect, and even the positioning of them all. Now I also I also want to overlay some stock footage here that's just relevant to the topic of the podcast and this is just going to keep my viewers super engaged. And lastly here, I need to add some copyright free music because if I don't, and let's say I opt for YouTube's music, I can't monetize it or even worse, it's going to get flagged later down the line, it's going to be taken down, copyrighted. Right. That's all done. I'm going to export it and then we can watch it back. Now, look, I'm not promising anything. I'm just saying this method booked me a collaboration with a Vespa company in Italy. A three week stay with the Tourism Authority of Thailand, two sets of Eagle Creek luggage. Perfect. Now I just got to quickly jazz up the other nine clips and I'm good to go. And send. And that is how to easily turn your podcast video into 10 YouTube shorts in one hour using AI. Oh, thank you very much. I will.